name is Beth Rose. Um, this is Birchwood Croft and we're just south of Inverness in Strathnain. We mostly have Shetland cattle so we do um, beef, um, we'll do pork as well from the pigs that we have each year and we also do preserves so either soft fruit and vegetable things such as chutneys, jellies and relishes. We moved up from a city um, we looked for land for quite a while um, for finding it. Neither of us have an agricultural background, but I knew when I met my other half that he wanted to work the land. Um, so I kind of married into it and then have just learned it as I've gone on. <laughs> we mostly sell online. Um, we've got, it started off as a blog. Um, which had originally started from Facebook. People then on Facebook told me you need to start a blog. I went, what's a blog? So I went and started that. So that then generated the needing to do a website. So now we've got all of our produce on our Field to Fork page. We also then put it on Facebook and it is just word of mouth, um, kind of just building up local customers. We will deliver into Inverness as well. And if we're doing a wee trip down to Edinburgh for family, we'll take it there too. Um, we have occasionally done community markets. It does take quite a lot of effort to get along to do them, um, but it is quite good then for just having quite good crack with people as well for <laughs> chatting. I'm always up for a chat. For challenges, oh, because my other half works offshore, um, it can often have slight tricky events when he's away such as maybe it's too cold for the tractor battery to start so then having to roll a uh, whatever foot bale um, water freezing um, so then having to release cows to get to the river but then needing the digger to dig out the gate was a wee bit of a tricky one last year and then having two wee ones a two and a four year old can be slightly complicated when working with cows um, as to you don't want to put them at a risk. There's a few challenges in the sense for working on your own and keeping it safe um, would be probably the main thing and then weather is your other one. For those wanting to start up probably doing a bit of research into regulations or thinking thinking the process through such as if you're wanting meat sent off rather than wait to write my pigs are ready to go where are they going often because for private work it can sometimes have such as a waiting list so I would say to people do do your research and get an idea kind of scope the land in a sense for butchers or how you think you might sell it um, so that you're not caught off guard or suddenly find you need to register as a food business but afterwards and you get into trouble for it. At the moment we base it all from here. Um, one of the things we're hoping to do is recently we got solar panels put in, it was, well more than a year ago um, so we're now looking from where we have the freezers to have it more almost like a wee well it would be a welfare unit but for a farm shop that I can then have all the freezers run off the, uh, the solar panels um, so then I'm not having to nip down to the shed so it would then just have much more of a kind of farm shop idea that I can run the business from. We have done veg boxes this past year for the first time and they we sold out pretty quick. So we're hoping this coming year, well, for this winter, we'll start planning on what we're gonna grow um, for next autumn for increasing maybe a few veg boxes for local people.